name is Akiko Thomas. I'm a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ACCG Living Bread in Newcastle. And our topic for today, 23rd of March 2013, is Ask for Spiritual Sight. I'll be looking at the devotional of the open heavens as written by the general verse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God worldwide. The Bible passage is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 12 to 15. But what I do, I will also continue to do, that I may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the things of which they boast. For such are false prophets, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great, great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. A memory verse is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. For such are false prophets, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of light. We all need the spirit of discernment in order to know what is happening spiritually around us. Otherwise, it is very possible to be deceived. For instance, the story that was related in Acts of Apostles chapter 16, 16 to 19 is a good example. Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain girl possessed with a spirit of divination met us who brought a master's prophet by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God who claim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But when our masters saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. If Paul did not have this, the spirit of discernment, the girl would even have been made a prophetess in the church of that city. How many demon possessed people are operating freely in the church today as church leaders? I pray that the Lord will open our eyes of the Spirit to distinguish between agents of light and agents of the devil. Pastor Adeboye warned us in the open heavens, daily guide today, to be careful and wary of those who are called prophets and miracle workers, whose origin and the source of their power is of doubtful origin. By allowing such people to pray for you, you don't know how vulnerable you are making yourself and the demons you are inviting into your life. Be careful and let the Holy Spirit lead you and direct you to genuine men of God. The key point here today is this. If you mind your physical health, you will eat selectively. If you mind your spiritual health, you will choose your spiritual diet. And thank you for listening to this Open Heavens today. My prayer for you is that you will not be robbed of the blessing of God that he has prepared for you so that you select the kind of people you listen to and the spirit that is upon their lives. May the Lord give you the spirit of discernment. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.